What's up, video creator? It's videomark.net. Today, we will be looking at Volumax 6. That's a template for After Effects to create 3D animations from photos with just a few clicks. It's not even a plugin, it's just a template. You open the template and off you go with just a few clicks to create this incredible 3D effect, which you're seeing here. I created literally within a few minutes and the results you can achieve with this are really awesome. So let's take a look. Okay, so when you download the zip file and unzip that, you will be presented with this here. You will get like four different types of animations that you can create. The most common, common ones will be probably portrait and landscape. And there are two other types, projector and smart, which we will be taking a look uh, later on. For now, let's start with portrait. And as you can see, I just downloaded this. It's January 2022. We're in the latest version of After Effects 2022, and it's not updated just yet, but I tested it and I can assure you it's working as intended. There is no difference. Although it's not updated just yet on the site, it's safe to use it and it's, it's working just fine. Okay, so double click this. And this is what you will see at first. And now let's import the images that we're gonna be using. So I'm dragging them right in here into the project. With this first template here, at first you should double click on the photo to actually add the portrait that we will be using to our project and drag it into the timeline. And the first thing we're gonna do that we, we're gonna adjust the scale just like that and maybe slightly adjust the position like so. And then go back to the main comp and here double click on setup. And when you do that, you will be presented with two different wireframes for male and female. And since this is a female, uh, we're gonna hide the male wireframe and the second one, the female, we can drag over. And now we're gonna have to tweak it a little bit and align it with our portrait, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually adjust the scale. Hit the S key to bring up the scale parameter, bring it all the way down, zoom in a little bit, and then try to align this. Okay, what you will notice, it looks like she's looking from the front, but actually she the head is tilted a little bit. She's looking down a little bit and the eyes are looking up. So we, we have to actually adjust the angle here. And for that, go to the effect controls. And here you will have a couple of tools to adjust the wireframe. What we're gonna be using is the select 3D angle value. And it will give you a couple of predefined angles which you can flick through. And as you can see, the, the next row is a much more accurate angle. When you move it over a little bit, you can see that the nose and nose and eyes are aligned much better, okay? We'll probably have to rotate it a little bit, so hit, hit the R key. And then we wanna zoom in and align it a little more. Try to be as accurate as possible because the more accurate you are with this step here, the better the result will be. And in the intro, you have seen that it's looking very impressive when you are really accurate with the tweaking. So that, that's the position so far. And here, under Adjust 3D Mesh on Face, you have a couple of tools. And for now, we're gonna be using uh, this Warp Tool. And under Warp Tool Options, you can actually modify the brush size, okay? So we're gonna have to adjust the shape of the face a little bit, like this. And as I said, the more accurate you can be in, in this step, the better the results will be, okay? The jawline, and then we're gonna have to adjust the smile because she's smiling and the default position of the wireframe is not. And the nose, it's necessary to, to get the right alignment. And now for the, uh, the last step would be like for the ears, bring them down. And the last thing, as you can see, the, the neck probably doesn't line up very well. For that, you can actually work with the neck fall off. And here's a value called neck adjust. And you might think it's actually the width of the neck, but the neck adjust will just give you more control over the fall off from 
towards the end of the wireframe. And to be able to work in this case, we will just increase the fall off. And when you're done with this step, click on the X-ray mode, uncheck the activate wireframe, then you can actually see the depth mat that this uh, template has created. And when you now go back to the main comp and you click on this volume max controller, you can now start dragging this controller around. And as you can see, it has done a very good job creating this depth map with our photo. And this really, the reason why this worked so well in this case is just because the wireframe has aligned just perfectly. So keep in mind that it is a very important step to get right to achieve the maximum effect, okay? And here you got a couple of other options that you can work with. You can click on this icon here to add some particles. Here's a checkbox, activate 3D particles, which will add particles to help sell the effect. And it looks like those particles are moving in the foreground. I'm gonna skip these uh, options for now because these are pretty self-explanatory. You can go through and further tweak this effect. You can also uh, zoom in a little bit. Let's disable those particles for now. And for instance, you could go in and zoom in, for instance, which could help while moving that controller and so on and so forth, okay? Another thing that, that, that you could do is actually this second icon here, which is a light flare. And when you increase the opacity, the good thing about this light flare is this also moves in 3D space. So when you move that controller around, this is also very helpful as if you had a light flare in the lens of your camera, which is also helping selling this 3D effect. As for the landscape template, straightforward as well, pretty, pretty much the same process. I've imported my image here. I double click the photo icon. I add my uh, landscape image, adjust the size a little bit, and then back to the main comp, double click the setup. It looks a little different though. And here, right in the upper right corner, it says draw mask. So when you double click that, it will then give you the comp where you can actually draw your masks. And all you have to do is actually define three different masks for close, mid, and far areas. So with the close mask selected, hit the pen tool, and then start drawing your mask. And then the mid mask, same thing. That should do for now. And then the last step, the far mask, which is this line right here. So pretty straightforward process. And when you're done with this, you can actually go in, and go to the main comp. We'll calculate for a second. And when you start dragging this volume max controller, you've got your 3D effect, okay? Pretty straightforward process. And here as well, just like the portrait template, you have this icon for particle effects, for lens flare, and here's an additional icon for a water surface in case you have a lake or something in the, in the background, but uh, we're gonna skip that for now, but that's also a very straightforward process. And that's basically how you would go with landscapes. For other cases, when it's not a portrait and not a straightforward landscape, you have the smart template, which will give you a little more control over the masks. It could be animals or any any object, which is not a portrait that you could use that for. And the projector is a dedicated template for camera projection for like alleyways where you can move the camera forward and have this dolly zoom effect. When you really uh, put some time into it, you can create some really impressive results as seen in the promo video of, the, of this product. It's pretty pricey, I have to admit. I believe right now it's sitting at $69 or something, but it's definitely worth it. You can create incredible results with it, maybe for documentaries or something. I've seen some documentaries using this and it's it's incredible. So that's Volume X 6. I got this from Video Hive, so go ahead and check it out. And I hope you learned something. I hope that it was interesting. Uh, if so, please feel free to hit the like button, which is going to help me promote this channel. Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.